In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can transfer files to a web server using a program such as FileZilla. FileZilla, FileZilla is a free FTP program. It allows you to transfer files from your local machine, your computer, and put those onto a web server. If you've created your web gallery in the Adobe Bridge program and you've saved it to your desktop or to your local machine, those will need to be transferred to your web server. So to do that, I've already opened up FileZilla. I'm going to need to put in information regarding my host, my server. So I'm going to use the icon in the upper leftmost corner here, which is my site manager. And you can see I've already set up two different web servers, the CalU and the MyWebs. And in here we'll have to put some information. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend that that's not in there and create a new site. So you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it Demo. And then over here we need to put some information in. And you would need to know from your web hosting uh, provider what this information is. They may have sent it to you. You may need to get a hold of them to get some of this information. The host, I'm just going to put in a fictitious host. We'll say it's FTP, FTP myserver.com. You usually don't need to do anything with the port. You can leave the protocol and the encryption as FTP. But for the logon type, I normally recommend ask for password. The reason for this is that if somebody were to get access to your computer or to your account, they would not automatically have then access to your web server location. They would have to know the password. So we're going to leave this as ask for password. We need to change our username. And again, that would be based on whatever was set up with your web hosting site. I'm just going to create a fictitious one here. Call it my username. And I cannot change or edit the password field because it's going to be asking me for the password. So I'll just click on OK. Now we're not connected at this point. All we've done is set up the site manager so we could connect up to it. Now I'm going to use the MyWebs one because this one is a real site and I can demonstrate it for you. So you can see I've got basically the same thing. I've got my web server in here. I've left it as FTP, ask for password, put in my username, left the password alone. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and connect to it. You can see that a dialog box pops up wanting my password. I'll go ahead and put that in. You'll also note that this little box is checked, meaning that as long as I'm in FileZilla, I will only have to do this once, even if I disconnect from the server. When I go to reconnect, it would automatically remember the password and connect. If I quit FileZilla, come back in, it will prompt me for that password. So it's up to you on how you want to handle this. I'm going to leave mine checked. So it's going out there. It's already made the connection. And here is my uh, my web server. And if you're using my webs and you have your website already posted there, you'll go into HT Docs. You should see a folder that corresponds to your website. And if you're going to put the web gallery, you need to put that inside of your website folder. So we need to locate that folder. And so I'm just going to drag some things around here and relocate my folder so I can get a little bit better access to it. And I can simply take and drag it in. You do want to be careful that you don't accidentally drop it into a folder. So make sure you don't drop it on top of any of these folders. You can drag it stay away from the folders but you can drag it down this other location and then you'll see down the bottom the status of it downloading those files to the web server all right so now I had that folder PS here's that folder PS this is now on my remote web server and if I open it up I should see the same files that I had on my desktop all this has done is move the files from my local machine to my web server. I still would need in my website make a link to this folder in the corresponding files. Make sure when you're done that you disconnect and of course then close FileZilla. That concludes the tutorial on using an FTP program to transfer your files from a local machine to a web server.